In this video, you will see a tutorial on how to implement the four steps of assessments using Canvas. Let's get started by creating an account. Go to the assessments.org website and click on sign up in the upper right hand corner of the page. Choose to log in with Canvas. In the box here, type in your Canvas institution's common name or URL and press login. If you don't see your school's Canvas ID showing up on this list, your Canvas administrator will need to set up the Canvas Assistance Connection before you can create your account. Here is a link down at the bottom of this page that you can share with your Canvas administrator. You'll be brought to your school's Canvas login page. Log in with your Canvas credentials. And authorize the connection. You'll know you're logged in when you see your name appear in the upper right hand corner of the page. Let's get started with step one, creating an assignment. Start at assistance.org and click on explore content. Here you'll see all of the available resources that we have. Open educational resources, textbook curriculum, skill builders and problem sets, and release date tests. Explore the folders until you find the content that you want to assign. Once you get to the lesson level, a new window will open and you'll be able to see all the questions that are in that problem set. You can choose to select all problems or just make a selection by clicking the box to the left of the problem ID. When you've selected the problems you want to assign, click on Assign to Canvas. At this point, you can import classes that already exist in your Canvas class, and they'll populate on this list where you can choose one or multiple classes to assign to. You can now choose to change the assignment name and set a release and due date. And when you're done, click Assign. You'll know that your assignment successfully created because you'll get some messaging. That assignment will populate on the Assignments tab on your Canvas page. The newest assignments usually populate at the bottom. Step two, the student experience. The student will log into their Canvas account and click on the Assignments link. Here they'll see all of the assignments that they have, and when they click on the assignment, they'll see the Assistance link inside they should click on that assistance link. When they do, they'll be asked to authorize their connection and they'll be brought to the student tutor. In the student tutor, the student will see one question at a time and they will receive immediate feedback for the answers that they submit. If a student gets their answer correct on the first attempt, they get the message correct and they can move on to the next problem. If a student does not get the answer correct on the first try, they receive the messaging, sorry, try again. And they do have multiple opportunities to arrive at the correct answer. And now they can move on to the next problem. Some students may struggle with a particular problem and they're not going to be able to arrive at the correct answer on their own, even though they're given multiple opportunities. They'll be able to press show answer over on the right hand side and that's going to allow them to type in the correct answer so they can move on with the assignment. And lastly, um, some of the questions that we have in assessments are open response. So a student can type in their answer or submit answers in different types, such as uploading a picture, uh, linking a video, or creating a table of values. Students are not going to get immediate feedback just because the nature of the open response question, but their answers are recorded for the teacher to see. When a student is finished with their assignment, they will be able to get a student report, which summarizes the work that they've done. This brings us to step three, accessing class performance. To access student data, you're going to go to the assignments tab in your Canvas account. Find the assignment that you want to access data for. 
and within there's an assistance link. Click on the assistance link to view the assignment report. You may be asked to authorize your connection one more time. A few things to note on this report. You'll be able to see the whole class average and then the whole class average by question. You'll get to see the correct answers, of course. And then if there was any common wrong answers, those will be shown here. The rows will give you individual information on each student. You'll have the average score per student. You'll get to see their first response that they typed in. You'll get to see how much time they spent on the assignment. And then the symbols within the report tell you how many attempts it took to arrive at the correct answer. And now we conclude with step four, analyzing answers together as a class. Use the report to identify trends in your data. Use the data to inform what problems you review as a whole class or in small groups. For example, identify concepts that you're going to need to review as a class. You can sort the report to see which students are going to need additional support. You can also look at the highlighted boxes to see which questions students really struggled on. The yellow box indicates students need to press, needed to press show answer in order to move on to the next problem. This video reviewed the key steps for getting started with assessments and Canvas. Thanks for watching.